Hey guys, this is Harshita and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll see how to make this delicious Malai Kofta. So these are the ingredients required for this recipe. Do take a look. Now without further ado, let's get started. So in a bowl, add 3 boiled and grated potatoes. Add about 100 grams of crumbled paneer. 2 to 3 finely chopped green chilies. Finely chopped fresh coriander leaves. Half a spoon of salt. 1 fourth spoon of garam masala, 1 fourth spoon of turmeric powder, half a spoon of coriander or dhania powder, half a spoon of red chilli powder, 1 spoon of maida, 1 spoon of corn flour. Now give it a good mix. Mix it well and make a dough out of it. Now take a small portion of the dough, small koftas like this. You can give it a round shape or an elongated shape, it's up to you. Now coat them with some maida. This is optional but it gives us an even surface. Coat all of them well on all the sides and keep it aside. Now refrigerate them for about 15 minutes. So heat some oil for deep fry and add in the kofta slowly. Fry them on low to medium flame. Do not fry them, fry them on high flame. After it turns golden brown, remove them and keep them aside and repeat the same with the rest. Now heat a pan, add 1 spoon of butter, add about 3 spoons of oil, half a spoon of cumin or jeera, 5 to 9 black pepper, 1 cinnamon stick, and one cup of onion that is one medium sized onion roughly chopped add half a spoon of salt and saute it for about a minute now add one cup of tomatoes that is two medium sized cooked tomatoes roughly chopped add about 10 cashews Saute it for a minute. Now add half a spoon of red chili powder and saute it and let it cool down. After it cools down, grind it into a smooth paste. Add some water while grinding. Now heat a pan and add two spoons of butter. Add one fourth spoon of turmeric powder. Half a spoon of red chili powder. Now saute it for about 10 seconds. To this, add two bay leaves and add the puree. And just mix it well. Now add about half a glass of water, you can totally adjust the consistency. Add some salt as per your requirement, half a spoon of coriander or dhania powder, half a spoon of cumin or jeera powder and mix it well. Now bring it to a boil. Keep the consistency a bit watery because after you add the koftas, uh, it's gonna become very thick. Now to this, add some kasuri methi and some finely chopped coriander leaves. Add about 5 spoons of fresh cream. This gives it a very creamy texture. So always remember while serving, add in the koftas first and then pour the gravy on it 
and do not add the koftas into the boiling gravy so that's it this is a super simple recipe try this recipe and let me know in the comments if you like this video please like share and subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell button thank you for watching see you in the next video bye